A lot of people, including myself, have had problems updating websites to WordPress 4.7 or 4.71. I want to show you what that manifests as when I try to update and how I go about fixing it. So let's just go to the Please Update Now link. And I'm going to click on Update Now. And this seems to take quite a long time before it fails. OK, and this is what happened. The update proceeded and then we end up with the website page isn't working. If I try to reload, it doesn't work. If I try to go directly to the website itself, that still works, so that's fine. But I can't log into the dashboard. Let me just show you. OK, it looks like we're logged in. If I try and click on this to go into the dashboard, we end up, this isn't working. So, how to fix this? Well, you need to log into your server space, and you can do this with cPanel File Manager, or I'm going to do it with FTP because it's just quicker. OK, so I've logged in with FTP, and this is the folder on my server where the website is located. The problem seems to be with a plugin, and it may well be the W3 Total Cache. It might be something else. But the easiest way to solve this is just to rename the Plugins folder, and I'm going to call it Plugins Old. And then as soon as that has been renamed, which it has, we can go back to the website and let's click on Reload and we'll get a database update. There we go, Update WordPress Database. And database update is complete. We're going to get an error now because we've got the plugins disabled. You saw the error very quickly here and you can see it there. We've got a total three, uh, W3 total cache error. That doesn't mean that the W3 total cache is the problem. It just means that it... The, the plugin itself is disabled and yet all of the commands for the W3 Total Cache are in the HT Access file trying to be read and they can't be read because the plugins folder doesn't exist anymore. So we go back in now to the FTP. I'm going to just rename that back as plugins and then if we refresh, that error should disappear. And there you go. It's worth going in and just making sure your site is working properly, which it is. And it's also worth going in and making sure that any updates that are available are updated. Ideally, you should do that before you update, but in my experience, I didn't have the updates there. And these updates seem to appear after the update of WordPress. So maybe these ones are more uh, geared towards the 4.71 uh, of WordPress. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go in and just update the plugins. Okay, that's updated. I'm going to go back to the WordPress updates page just to make sure there's nothing to update. There is actually a theme update, but I'm going to leave that. Right, and the next step, just to make absolutely sure, is to log out and then just try to log back in again. And there you are. We're back up and running with the latest version of WordPress. So I hope that's helped. If you've had a problem upgrading to 4.7 or 4.71, that's the easy way that I've worked out on my own sites. And it seems to have worked on every site that I've had the problem. And I've had the problem on probably a dozen sites. And I don't know which plugin it is, although I do have my suspicions. But just so that you know, WordPress 4.7, 4.71 does have a problem with some plugins that you may have installed. So you may get that error. If you have any comments or you want to tell us about your story about the updates to 4.7, then just leave them below the video in the comment section. Thanks.